What's up everybody, it's Ben from the Ben and Bev channel back again this week with a short and sweet review for Loki Season 2, Episode 4, Part of the TVA. Last week I was mentioning how I didn't see how they could wrap up this problem by the end of this season. Little did I know it would get crazy in Episode 4. I mean, absolutely insane. Let's backtrack a bit. As always, production design, acting, everything is phenomenal. You get a fantastic plot that has Obi by Kehi Kwan teaming up with Jonathan Majors, Victor Timely, which is two of the most enigmatic additions to this. This season. The game to see those two interact with Owen Wilson's Mobius and Tom Hiddleston's Loki is absolutely phenomenal. The scenes with Judge Renslayer and Miss Minutes are also pretty terrifying at points, even though they don't show a lot. I wasn't expecting everything to come to a head this quick, but both groups are meeting at the TVA to try and stop one another from completing the same objective, fixing the temporal loom. And even though no one really has a exact idea on how they can fix it, they're gonna try and expand the thing anyways. Cutting it down to the wire. There's a lot of fun moments, especially with uh, some particular between O. B and Victor Timely both acknowledging that they love each other's work and they're not really sure which one came first. And a pretty solid joke about hot chocolate. We have some fantastic dynamics as well between Loki and Sylvie, particularly one conversation where Tom Hiddleston's Loki really sells it on being a hero, explaining how just giving up and burning it all is easy, but trying to fix it, prevent it all from destroying itself is what makes it hard. I thought it was great. It was a bizarre mirror reflection of Thor's It's What Heroes Do line and amazing to see Loki really sell that that hero speech to Sylvie, especially an episode after showing his villain side again. It helped indicate how high the stakes were, and the last 20 minutes of this episode have been some of the most thrilling 20 minutes of a Marvel TV show, as well as a Marvel anything since, I don't know, Infinity War. Don't want to spoil much, but last week I couldn't see how they could wrap up this plot point, any of these plot points in six episodes, and this week they showed us that uh, we don't know what the hell is going to happen the rest of the season. The episode ends in a way that had me sitting there questioning myself in the way some 824 movies have, and a good 20 minutes of goosebumps where I just really couldn't process what our heroes just went through, or villains, or whatever they are at this point. There's some great character development within that setup, as well as some really solid payoffs from that alternate reality version of Loki, time pretzel bit from the first episode. Why was Sylvie in the TVA? They answer that question. It doesn't go in the way you think it does. I mean, even the beginning of the episode, it starts to set up some pretty by the numbers plot points that you would be anticipating and slowly it twists, flips on its head, and by the end of this episode you're just on the floor. I think it's one of the best episodes of Marvel TV show. Phenomenal episode and I have absolutely zero clue where they're going to be taking the episode this week. I have no idea. Everything that was on the board I was thinking of, it's gone. It's something I just was not expecting. <laughs> Couldn't be more excited for tonight's episode even though I have no idea what the hell is going on. And I love that. Have you guys seen Loki's fourth episode? Let us know in the comments below if you were just as baffled by that ending and enthralled by it as I was. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time. Ben and Bev, out.